It's the golden era of the rape joke, especially I think for women comedians. The conventional understanding of like a rape joke is usually like trivializing rape, making fun of rape. The whole punchline of the joke is, ha ha, someone got raped. And that's just not funny to me. They'll say, you can't joke about rape. Rape's not funny. I say, you, I think it's hilarious. How do you like that? I'll abuse you so badly, your gynecologist will think you've been in a car crash. That night, she got raped. There's nothing funny about serial rape, but... <laughs> How can I create this joke, but put the punchline on the idiots who do the assaulting. I think it's a great time to kind of like take control back through really well-crafted jokes that make people think. Huh, I never saw it that way. Oh, well. <laughs> Say you're a lady um, and you, it's the end of the week and you want to get all gussied up, check on a mini skirt and some makeup, um, you know, dress a little provocatively, have a couple of cocktails. You might have a good time, but you might be asking to get raped. <laughs> When something's really funny, it's reaching people that I don't think would have ever opened their eyes to issues like feminism and women's rights and stuff like that. It also is a great way to work through something as horrific and nauseating as like sexual assault and harassment and misogyny. Mm, misogyny. Delicious. So it's like a survival tactic and it's also a way to have people listen to you in like a different light. With this poem, I, I think I found the essence of what it is to be a woman. And this is called, Me, a Woman. <laughs> I empower myself as a woman by holding a machete in my hand. Whenever I am in a lipstick aisle, I use it to knock down my favorite shades. <laughs> We've been told for years and years and years that it's sort of unattractive to be angry. And I don't think women care that much right now about that. It feels like a real sea change. Like, we're like, look what women put up with every day just in order to go to work or to get to the train. I mean, I shouldn't have to be elbowing hard bicks away from myself on the subway and have that be a normal part of my daily commute. Rape culture is powerful you know? And that's a lot of weight and a lot of pressure to put on comedy, to be able to shift the power dynamics. But comedy could at least shine a light on it and open up people's minds. With more sensitivity, we'll be able to find not only funnier things in like what a, a rape joke is, but just like funnier things in general that come from a place of understanding instead of a place of, of just like poking fun at this concept of rape. I know you guys are still like, not Bill Cosby. I'm like, yes, Bill Cosby. It's usually someone you know and trust. <laughs> Why would people say don't talk about something if it happens? We deal with rape every day. Harvey Weinstein. Bill Cosby. Somebody getting elected president who has said the things that he said. I did have to kind of stop and just go like, is any of this funny? I think good comedy criticizes our society a lot and criticizes things that we're uncomfortable with and talks about them. We're just now like dipping a toe into this deep ocean of experience that women were afraid to talk about because they don't want to like alienate men. That Margaret Atwood quote, men are afraid women will laugh at them and women are afraid men will kill them, feels like weirdly prescient right now sitcoms that would do well on Trump TV. Mr. Wright, um, this show is about a successful man who is successful because he is always right. People, especially women, try and prove him wrong. He always defeats them and every episode ends with a woman saying, I'm sorry for doubting you and your penis is very huge. And he replies, yes, my penis is big and strong just like my father and his father before him. Nothing is off limits for comedy. But also your job as a comedian is to like, Think about the climate you're in. And if you're making a joke and you're gonna punch someone, it should be punching them. You should be attacking people who are like getting away with stuff, who are very powerful and influential that like have it coming. A laugh is like a breath. And so if you take a breath when you're talking about something really difficult, you just feel calmer. That's beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Just thought of that. It's like a 
you what's funny, what's a joke, what's comedy, what's a rape? It's really hard for some 